here. I wasn't expecting you. I'm so sorry. It's like, it doesn't usually look like this. Like, I swear I'm not that messy. I can explain. Have a seat, have a seat. Let me just clear these Cheetos off of the couch for you. <laughs> I know, I know. I've been I've been doing a lot of cleaning videos lately. That's because I'm in my cleaning era. So I haven't really been outside in the past seven days. So it's gotten a little rough in here. I do tend to notice that when I don't see people and I'm not like integrated into the real world, I do get a little like hermit-like and I don't really take care of myself and my space. Today was the first time that I saw people in like a week and I was like, whoa. Is this what it's like to be a functioning part of society? But I'll admit, it's not amazing. It's not, not the chip crunching under my feet and then me just brushing it aside with my foot. I'll clean that. Yeah, 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 it's a little messy. But the thing is, I'm aware. I'm aware that I have a problem and I'm actively working on it. I clean a lot more often now, but if I'm also being honest, I'm doing this because I have a housewarming party coming up, so I have to get it clean. To me, me personally, I'm like, oh, this isn't that bad. Okay, but I have to think about it from third party's perspective. If I were to walk into someone else's home and see this, would I think it's messy? Let me let me look at this from fresh eyes. Okay, it's, I mean, so it's definitely not clean. Okay, yeah, I would probably think this is messy. Let's get started. As always, we start with the couch area because it's the easiest, largest area. And then once I do this, it gets some motivation, gets some inertia going, and then have the motivation to clean the rest. Why can't I clean this? Now, why do I have bra padding here just on the floor? It's like not attached. To Where did this come from? It's the mind of The couch area is now sparkling clean, super easy, took five minutes. Now this is one of my most hated parts to clean because I spend the most time at this table working, eating, vibing, hosting people. So this area is always like a mishmash of different things that come from different rooms and some things don't have a home. And that's the main issue when it comes to cleaning is like when things don't have like a structure to go into, it's really hard for my brain to like want to even do it because I'm like, oh, then I have to figure out where it goes. I have to figure out like a system for this. There's like way more steps than just cleaning. So let me just break it down into the smallest bits. Um, okay, I got, I got this, I got this. Okay, so the blinds in my room usually are always closed because they're blackout curtains and I wake up so late and I don't spend much time in my room unless it's for sleeping. So I'm like, if it's just for sleeping, why do I need to open the blinds? But actually having direct sunlight into your room is really healthy because it makes the air quality better. And the vibes are just better, you know? But my room is like not the vibe. My room is a disaster. Oh God, this is not good. The issue again is still, it's still clothing. I honestly don't even know what's clean and what's not. All my clean clothes are in the laundry hamper. So I can't put my dirty clothes into this hamper. So they just all pile up on the floor or on my bed. A lot of you guys suggested 
that I get two hampers actually so that I can have my hamper of clean clothes but I can also have another hamper of dirty clothes so that it doesn't like get sprawled out like obviously I would ideally just put clean clothes away right away but I know by this point in my life that that's just not gonna happen I feel like as I've gotten older I've realized that there are some parts of me that are just that's just who I am some people are naturally a little more organized in the brain and some people can do things like when they're supposed to but I found that you know I just don't function like that and obviously it's not ideal that I'm not like the most organized person but at the same time it's like it doesn't make me a bad person like why do I hate myself so much for it you know I have other qualities that kind of compensate for it at least that's what I'm telling myself and so instead of like hating myself for who I am be like oh my god like I'm so messy like oh I wish it was easier I wish I was like this different person who had these skills like no I am who I am this is me like I just struggle with these things but I can find tactics find ways to work with who I naturally am but I'll never be that person who is just like naturally inclined to clean but again you never know I'm always changing and things are always evolving and that's okay too. The thing with my room is it's so like bare and empty, but it still gets so messy. Now that my clothes are folded, I can finally put the dirty clothes into my hamper. It's been a long time coming. I would hold you in my arms. I would take the pain away. Forgive all your mistakes. It's a different day and it's like 1 a.m. and I do not look cute, so don't. That's not. Anyway, I'm cleaning this chair that I had earlier designated to be my like purgatory clothes chair. But then I realized that because this chair is always turned away from me, I forget about all the clothes on this chair. And then I just pick new clothes to wear. And then this just piles up. So my solution has not worked. And now I don't really remember like how clean or dirty these are. But like I'm assuming I've only worn them like once, which is why they're on this shirt. But anyway, I found this shirt. I, it's not even mine. I don't. I don't know where this came from. But it says Bully Buddy. Like. Like you're the buddy of a bully. I'm gonna assume they're dirty. I'm really unsure. I don't, I really don't know. I feel like these are okay. Welcome to my kitchen! I feel like every time I clean the kitchen, I always sing my way into it. Anyway, why is this place always a mess when you see it? I swear it's not always like this, but now I'm thinking every time I show you, it is messy. Like, I never show you when it's clean. So, I essentially just have a lot of, like, dishes that need to be washed and, like, takeout containers. Ah. You know what? I am disappointed in myself because I thought that this year I was going to be cooking a lot more and then it just... It's just a lot of Uber Eats, like all, like all Uber Eats, essentially. Right, I'm working on it. Well, am I? Okay. <gasps> oh my God, it's my Canucks popcorn container. My dad bought me a popcorn because I was craving popcorn when we went to the game. And he was like, oh my God, like if you buy the big container, you can take it back to every game and they'll give you free popcorn. And I was like, oh, that's such a good deal. But then I remember that tickets are like $200 and like, of course they're gonna give you free 10 cent popcorn that they can make for 10 cents. So anyway, all of my bays, Pedersen, Hughes. This is actually really funny because I've seen exactly 50% of these players on Raya, which is the dating app, still waiting for them to match me back. Hello? Why wouldn't you want to date someone with a sparkling clean kitchen like this? Anyway, I have to wash this.
I left this snack package out, but if you can read, it says almond strips and fish. And I know my first thought is, what? the hell not that sounds disgusting honestly that was my first thought too i was like that's such a weird combo almond strips and fish like think about that for two seconds somebody thought of that somebody was like oh that sounds really good but then i thought about how going to school sometimes growing up in canada like i would bring cultural food or like asian food and like kids would make fun of me because they said it was stinky and then i was like wait a minute am i becoming one of those people where i'm like Ooh, different food combos i was like oh no so then i tried it it's bomb as hell. As the years go on, I'm healing my relationship with my culture, and it's lit as hell. These are so good. They're called kai kou xiao. Now time to wash the popcorn container of all of the boys who rejected me on dating apps. But like, now I need to find a place for this. It's huge. Where do I put it? Maybe I'll just put it here. Long time no see in this room. Wait, I love the lighting in here. It's so nice and bright. Oh, wait, I really should come in here more often. Currently, this room is more like a guest room. A couple of months ago, my friend was staying with me in this room, but she went on exchange. So now it's like a guest room whenever people stay over, but it also has kind of turned into my storage room for my housewarming party. I kind of want to turn this into another area that people can hang out in. So I want to turn this, because this is a bed. I want to turn it into like a sofa area. So I have to clean this stuff out. I also bought this like canvas a while ago for my living room makeover because I thought I was gonna do this like textured art thing but now I regret buying it because I don't want to do that anymore so now what do I do because I bought it on Facebook marketplace like do I sell it again on Facebook marketplace but for now this is just gonna go into storage to run around in. Okay, time for the next. What's next? Be honest with me, are the bangs banging or are they not banging? Like, are they banging in the right way is what I'm asking. Also, I crocheted this shirt. All of this is a procrastination tactic because I don't know what to do next. Let's go do something. Now my favorite part, time to vacuum. Enjoy this cockroach cam POV. I'm now done swiffering. 
Everything smells so good now. It looks so clean. Oh, I was watching out the footage and it looks like my back looks crazy. I just did cupping yesterday for the first time and it's like so bruised on my back. It looks crazy, but hopefully it works. You know, wanted to try out some Chinese medicine for Chinese New Year. This year is my health era. It's my clean era. Getting my shit together, productive era, bruise back era. But I think we're finished. Let's look at the final shot. We did it. Well, I did it. And hopefully you also did it. So basically, we did it. It's looking so clean and fresh and I'm now ready for my housewarming party, which will be one of my next videos. So I do feel like I'm getting the hang of this adulting cleaning thing. Like it's getting easier and I'm figuring things out. It's not as hard as before. And sometimes I enjoy it. <gasps> Go. Am I changing for the better? If this helps motivate you, that's amazing. I'm so grateful that you watched this video. Anyway, I'm gonna go prance around a little bit and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!